Hey guys, so this is my Arduino set uh, mini coaster. Uh, I built this over a course of eight to ten months. It took me to do it. It's not 100% done at this point. Uh, I still have some more work I'm wanting to do to it, but uh, I figured I'd just do a video for anybody wanting to see it or anything. I've, a lot of people like it, so. Uh, in this video, I'm going to do two separate videos. In this section of the video, I'm just going to show you essentially on it working and everything. And then in the second video, I guess, I'll show you how it uh, how it actually works and all that. But uh, pretty much it's got, you know, the four basic things that most coasters have. You know, a lift hill, some brakes, and a station, and a transfer table to add and remove trains. Uh, so mine does have all that, you know, it's got a really nice lift hill right here uh, It does a couple inversions and everything really nice track layout It took about two and a half to three coaster sets from connects to get it where it needs to be and uh, Essentially, it's got a brake run right here and a transfer table the transfer table actually works uh, And then the station which is right here the station works it's got a uh, working cube gates and everything like that and uh, down here is most of the electrical wiring just for the coaster itself uh, it's kind of a mess right now I do have a box that it goes in and it's gonna be fixed up a little nicer and everything but uh, essentially in this video we're just gonna show you guys it working and uh, like I said in the second video we're gonna go over kind of uh, how it works and everything so uh, what we do is we're gonna go ahead and I got but I got two trains on right now so we're just gonna go ahead and let it run with two trains because it does have a automatic mode in it so we can just start it up in automatic mode and uh, I get some video of it running its automatic mode so I'll step back here so you can watch it So uh, essentially on this roller coaster, everything works. Uh, it's got working cue gates and everything like that. Uh, all the buttons on the control panel itself works. I'll let you look at the control panel. All the buttons and everything work on the control panel itself. Um, I got a working LCD screen right here. The LCD screen tells me how many cycles it does. Uh, it tells me if any of the buttons like lift stop, ride stop, if it's been e-stopped, um, if a train's got too close to another train, which is what I'll show you in the next video on how it does that. And uh, the PWM, which is your pulse width modulation. Uh, the pulse width modulation is actually on the lift, which is actually this little red guy right here. He's your pulse width modulation motor control unit. Uh, pretty much the lift goes into low and high speed, just like normal roller coasters do. And uh, like I said, it stops on the brakes. It's got your transfer table. And I don't know if you was noticing in the video, but the entry gates was opening and closing every time the train came into the station automatically. Now, you can also do it manually if you wanted to. So we just go ahead and start up the lift again. So now back, it's back in the manual mode now. So once the train parks, so now it's at its home parking places. So, I mean, if you wanted to, you got your two gate switches here. They both do the same thing. So if you just wanted to open the gates, you just open the gates right up along with everything else. Uh, and to dispatch it, you have to press both of the two dispatch buttons simultaneously. So I have to do it with my arm to dispatch it out. Once it's dispatched out, we can open the gates. Gates are open, you can close them back. And then you can dispatch the train again. 
And like I said, if you e-stop it for any reason, it'll tell you on here, e-stop. Lift hill shuts off, everything powers down. So no trains will run into each other. And to clear your e-stop, you just pull it up, e-stop reset, ride start, and then you can just go back to lift start and it clears your LCD screen for you. So, I'll go ahead and kill that. So essentially, this is my Arduino roller coaster project. Um, if you like this video, share it. Make sure you show it to a bunch of friends, anybody that likes to see it. And uh, make sure to like the video. Uh, there will be a part two video coming out right after this one, which is when I'll show you how to how it works, uh, the basic concepts of the transfer table, the gates, the proximity sensors and everything, and how it knows where the trains are at all times. So make sure to check out part two. And if you're watching part two before watching part one, I recommend you to watch this video before watching the second one. Thanks.